Alrighty guys, excuse the mess over here. Uh, we're getting ready to go in a camp out for Father's Day. Uh, I don't know how you guys' days are going to be celebrated or if you're a dad yet or you're not a dad yet. Hey, I am sure gonna go fishing, get them out there, get camping, have fun with the kids, the family, now that they're young. We never know. <laughs> but welcome. Welcome to the welcome to the video guys. Welcome back to uh, Fearless Garage. If you're new here, uh, we do a lot of things here and there. Uh, we do everything. All in one place guys. Um, I tried to do more, but hey, you know, we can only do so much with what we have But yes guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for being here with us uh, Before we do get started guys and go out there and make a mess uh, I do want to welcome our five new subscribers. Yes guys. We have five new subscribers Thank you very much for joining the family guys. Welcome to the YouTube family. I appreciate every single one of you Thank you very much for subscribing. Hope to see you guys on the videos, you know, feel free to comment down below your opinions uh, I read them. I try to reply to everybody. Um, so far, so good. But, you know, yeah, it gets busy. But I'll get you. Don't worry. Uh, but, yes, guys. Uh, with that said, thanks to those five new subscribers. We're at 564 today. Yes, sir. You already know. So close. So close. That's crazy. But, yes, guys. Uh, we got a lot of work to do today. Uh, with that said, uh, let's get out there. Get started. Hello guys and welcome back to the video. Appreciate every single one of you uh, joining us today. Uh, we are going uh, to uh, do it a little differently. Uh, we're getting back in our roots which is buy and sell cars obviously. Uh, we do have a flip series going on as well. As you guys remember, I haven't done an update on the flip series, so here it is. Uh, obviously, uh, we can flip this car if we wanted to, but I'm not done with it. I want to do way more uh, to this Honda. As you guys remember, uh, it's my first Honda that I can actually mess with, uh, that I have time and I can call on my own. So, hey, we're going to have fun with this thing. I'll do a couple little here things here and there to our taste. Um, now, uh, back to the flip series. Uh, I do want to add... Uh, to bring you guys along today sorry this bird skimmy oh what they what are they doing i don't want no them you know uh throwing their nastiness on me or something peeing on me or something but yeah uh today i'm gonna go ahead and take you guys with me uh on the road we're gonna go ahead and go to my brother's house uh he has one of my cars i don't know if you guys seen him on the background it's a 3000 gt uh we have some bites i just posted it like not even long ago and we have people wanting to see it so we're gonna go ahead and hit the road, go to his house, so over there, and then show the car and see if they buy it or not. And also have an update on that uh, Mboy, GMC Mboy that we bought a little bit back, also for a flip series. Um, I think I took some video of it getting it, I'm not sure, but I'll go ahead and check that out. Let me see. All right, guys, so this is the GMC Envoy. It's a 5.3 uh, liter V8 engine. Uh, it is the Denali package. It has electronic uh, seats, electronic uh, windows, 
it has some tvs inside and the interior as well everything's leather uh it is gray on light gray interior uh the outside is gray it looks kind of brown here though here's some pictures that i post up for uh on market facebook marketplace was selling it for 2600 i was trying to make trying to make some space um guy came looked at it and everything he had a little bit of things he needed uh front tires upper control arms uh he ended up offering me a solid cash offer of 1900 i shook his hand took the money and said all right man it's your problem now i'm good with that like i said trying to make space man all right guys with that said we're gonna go ahead and hit the road and i'll see you guys uh my bro's house let's get it All right, guys, just an update. We're out here at my brother's house. There it is, the car there. It looks like I had to move it from here because they were cutting the grass. They're going to come back and cut the little spot where it was sitting, as you can tell. It's been sitting for a while. It fires right up. Everything seems to be working still fine. A uh, buyer already came, looked at it. Uh, you know how that goes. Uh, they really like the car and everything. It's just their money. Um, they have the money, they said, but they have to go talk to the insurance because they totaled their last car. So they totaled the last car, they're looking for a new car. I told her, you do know this is a project car, right? It's not a daily driver. Uh, and she said, yeah, well, what it needs to be a daily driver, obviously it's gonna need a tire, if not tires. The other tires are pretty good, but this is the one that concerns me. Look at this, look at this. Would you look at this? The sun has eaten. It has ate this tire up like the whole side of the wall this one is ready to pop man so yeah i uh, did advise them to bring a trailer or another tire if they're gonna want to drive this thing home um i mean i wouldn't trust it uh on the street at all especially with that but yeah i do have a spare one a spare wheel with the tire the only problem is it's not inflated it got no air in it but runs drives and we put a new stereo on this thing i forgot about that uh oh didn't we? yeah we did put a new stereo right here touch screen and everything hopefully the sun doesn't kill it but it should be all right it is hot out here today uh driver window does not work uh it does work but you got to help it up so i just said it didn't work i don't want to put up with that uh passenger window does ac needs recharge obviously older cars uh, attempt to have to do recharge on them more often than newer cars uh, Other than that sunroof works just fine. It's a manual sunroof I don't know if you guys even seen this car before to be honest with you I can't remember if I showed you this car or not, but here we go uh, That's a manual window. You just click that button and then when uh, the whole top sunroof comes up uh, There's the old stereo still in there um, We do have a trunk. I guess you can call this a trunk right there a little hatch trunk uh it is plenty of space in here it's just not tall enough so you can't fit um 24 pack of beer in there um unless you put it up front over there uh don't ask me how i know that anyways uh we have automatic everything automatic windows automatic locks automatic mirrors automatic transmission uh, this one's currently sitting at 182,000 miles. Um, brand new battery on this thing too. Uh, no, it's not the turbo. If it was the turbo, I would probably kept it. If it was five speed, I would probably kept this one. I'm trying to make some space. That's why it's on my brothers right now because I don't have space. So that's the reason for us selling it. This is the engine, as you guys can see, hood. 
uh, latch or hood, uh, what do you call these, chocks. The hood shocks are working just fine. Uh, we just replaced those two. So other than that, I mean, we have a K&N uh, uh, cold air intake. Uh, well, just the filter actually, not the whole intake. And uh, what else? I don't know, I think that's it. We have this aftermarket uh, oil cap and some pulleys. I remember putting some pulleys on this one. I think that pulley we swapped, we swapped the belts out. Um, Cause recently I bought this one for my father-in-law. Um, we got it off of him cause he didn't want to mess with them. He was having some issues. And then my brother-in-law didn't want to put up with it either. So I kind of ended up with it myself, got it from them. And now we're here. Uh, we did put a new battery in there. So it has a new battery. Um, other than that, I don't, I don't think I miss anything else. But yeah, that is our 1994 Mitsubishi 3000 GT. And yeah, so we're gonna wait to hear from them. If not, I did advise them first come, first serve. That's how this game goes. Uh, that's part of the game, I guess. You deal with a lot of stuff in marketplace, a lot of like trolls, a lot of low ballers. <laughs> you know how that goes. There's the wheel I was telling you guys about. We got uh, another wheel for it, uh, OEM. It got a good tire, semi good tire, I guess. I mean, it's better than the one it has in there, all rotted and stuff, but it got no air got no air in it so gotta take it put some air put it on the car so people can actually drive the car and test it out i guess i'm gonna start letting them know no money no test drives because it's just a waste of time but yeah so let's go ahead and head home all right guys back at home here uh, i want to show you guys this things i got for the honda um it is this one's right here let me put them in the floor for y'all real quick i think i know what you guys think are it goes on the window on top of the door i think it looks pretty cool i seen some pictures on uh online i actually took uh one of the pictures idea here with the lower honda and everything it had this one's on it um i want to color match it i think it will look pretty pretty nice color match to the car so it look like part of the body of the car uh here's a picture real quick for you Yeah, now that you've seen that picture, there's a real car. <laughs> yeah, a long way from that one, isn't it? Uh, but I mean, it same color. Uh, that's a plus. Uh, yeah, we got a lot of suspension work to do, remember? Uh, we do have a French shock that might be blown, so opportunity for coilovers there. So we're not that off. So, I mean, wheel base. Um, I don't know what kind of wheels should go on a Honda. I'm pretty sure they got like, what, 18, 16s? I don't even know this one has 16 yep 16 let me show you guys so it's a 205 55 16 so it's a 16 that's not too bad um i mean once the coilovers lower it a little bit more the only issue with lowering a car is you start rubbing up here on the fenders and then people try to roll them i think on this one's just kind of hard to roll isn't it oh no it's not wow look at all that that's gonna become rust if we don't clean that out. Gotta make sure I get in there with a brush, take that all that out, and put some protection down there there too. Uh, future references. Um, but yes, guys, uh, we're back at home. We're trying to make space, as you guys can see. Uh, we have this space right here now, which is good. Uh, we sell the Amboy, uh, GMC Amboy. We have those two right there. Obviously, you already know the project for the swap. It is one of the reasons why I'm trying to make space because I'm not trying to get rid of certain cars. I do want to keep my favorite ones, the ones that I'm like second thinking about it, like you know, think, uh, giving a thought to. Uh, I'm getting rid of just because I don't use them, I don't drive them. They just sit there and it's a waste of space, and it's just money holding me back from doing things that I really want. So I'm just going to prioritize the cars that I really do use and go from there. And another reason as well is my father-in-law recently fixed this apartment next to me where we used to store all our stuff. Yes, we still have our trusty truck here. Uh, that one's not going anywhere. It is a work mule, I'll tell you that. Uh, that's my father-in-law's. I believe uh, you guys seen where we fixed it. But yeah, he fixed all this stuff right here and uh, he's going to start renting this duplexes. So 
yeah I gotta move my stuff from this side and that's one of the reasons why um, I need some space because uh, all these years I had this much space here I could put cars on this lot right here he will allow me to so that would be nice uh, but recently they've been doing a lot of remodeling and they digged up a trench right there on this uh, side to fix the wall of this duplex and um, yeah um, how to make some space and get rid of stuff so definitely keeping that one um, I can do without this one I'll, I'll be fine if I have to um, but I'm definitely keeping that one I have everything for it so engine swap might be coming sooner than I thought not ready just yet for it this is gonna calm down I'm pretty sure it is you, see, you guys see how sideways it is I don't know if you guys can see that but oh yeah right there look at that yep so we got a bunch of stuff in there that we're taking out as well uh, getting rid of um, but yeah this is the duplex he's gonna be renting those things and uh, we had a lot of trash out here look at this would you look at this come look at this yeah but yes guys that is the reason I am uh, selling a couple stuff getting rid of my um, uh, getting rid of some things that I don't really use they just sit around and uh, it feels good actually to have more space and be able to you know buy cool stuff with the money we get off of it like I can actually afford the clutch for my car now uh, I'm on other things uh, I think we already got the clutch so that gives us even more money to finish it up um, like other things we're gonna need for it because if you know about WRXs or own one everything's expensive on those cars I don't even know why I don't know why uh, but yeah everything's overpriced if you ask me I think it's easier to just go buy a whole car off a cool part and use it as a parts car uh, in my opinion all right guys so camera overheated had you guys backwards i got a watermelon yes i'm gonna eat that watermelon but yes guys um that is the update as far as it goes for my flip series i did series i did have some sorry i'm hot i just got inside it is hot out there um i had the fish rig or the envoy it was one of our flippers we didn't really do much on it um so we just literally parked it left to there um, bought some parts for it. We bought the upper control arms. Uh, I think that's about it. Uh, they were like a hundred bucks for both of them. Um, so we bought the car, uh, the Envoy originally for a thousand bucks. Yeah, a thousand dollars. So I made eight hundred dollars off of it. Hey, it's a profit. Profit's a profit. I'm good with that. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, that's gonna be it for this video. I definitely appreciate you watching. Sorry I talked too much. Uh, a lot of explaining, I guess. But I appreciate every single one of you. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one after Father Day. Happy Father Days for all the daddies out there. Appreciate every single one of you for taking your time watching this video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.